Summary Some 90 Day Fiancé cast members, like Paula Mayfield and Tiffany Franco, have turned their lives around and found success after appearing on the show. Not all cast members maintained their popularity, with Tanya Maduro and Larissa Lima losing fans due to their on-screen actions and social media behavior. Jibra Bell, Molly Hopkins, Angela Deem, and Paul Stale are currently experiencing a midlife crisis despite their previous popularity and success on the show. Some 90 Day Fiancé cast members are going through a period of misfortune, and their drastically changed lifestyles prove that. The hit reality TV franchise has featured many unique people over the last decade. One of those cast members is Paula Mayfield from season 1. The Colombian model was seemingly the wrong partner for her husband, Russ Mayfield, but she was able to build a great relationship with him, and they now have a son. Like Paola, Tiffany Franco also became popular. While she couldn't make her relationship with Ronald Smith work, she did turn her life around, got healthy, and launched her makeup business. Not all 90 Day Fiancé cast members maintained their popularity after joining the show. Some of them lost their fans due to their on-screen actions, such as Tanya Maduro from 90 Day, The Single Life. She had all the support in the world when her husband, Singin Colchester, left her. Fans felt sorry that she couldn't build a family or have kids. However, Tanya turned many followers against her by acting carelessly on social media. Something similar happened to alum Larissa Lima as well. Usually, people appearing in the 90 Day Fiancé series become successful or return to obscurity. However, a few rare ones are currently going through a midlife crisis despite their popularity. Jibra Bell When Jibra Bell appeared on 90 Day Fiancé Season 9, he was living his best life. While his career wasn't booming, he was happy to have the love of his life, Neona Bell, by his side. Jibra married his Serbian fiancé Neona during his appearance on the show. Things started great for the two as they moved to Palm Springs and began working on their dreams together. The couple bought luxury cars in 2022, and Jibiri promoted his wife's new ponytail business. However, he recently stopped doing all that and moved to Thailand alone. Jibra is seemingly on a spiritual journey and living without his wife. He has removed all mentions of Miona from his Instagram profile, hinting that something serious has transpired between the two. Similarly, Miona has also removed Jibra's photos from her social media. She is seemingly focused on her business and doesn't post anything related to her husband. All clues hint that Jibra and Miona aren't together after tying the knot. However, the two could be doing it for social media clout and attention, which they are known for. Molly Hopkins Molly Hopkins' journey on the 90 Day Fiancé franchise has been wild. The 48-year-old single mom married Luis Mendez in season 5. While things started great, Luis eventually left her to be with someone else. Molly found Kelly Brown after returning on 90 Day, The Single Life. She had great chemistry with him, and the two seemed like the perfect match. Unfortunately, everything changed in 2022 after Kelly and Molly began having relationship issues. Molly and Kelly broke up for good on 90 Day, The Last Resort. Molly is doing great professionally, but her relationships have begun falling apart over the last few months. Besides her split from Kelly, Molly lost her best friend of 20 years when Cynthia Decker ended their friendship. The former Pillow Talk star has implied that the breakup happened due to Molly's narcissistic abuse. Molly also had issues with her daughter, Olivia Hopkins, some time ago.
Olivia was involved in a police incident and got arrested. Molly's daughter also alleged that her mother's ex, Kelly, choked her at their store. Angela Deem like Molly, Angela Deem is another middle-aged woman probably going through a midlife crisis. The 57-year-old Georgia resident was an empowering female figure during her debut on the show. She was liked for her outspoken attitude. Unfortunately, Angela completely changed her personality after her weight loss procedure. She began mistreating her Nigerian husband, Michael Ilasanmi, and acting erratically in front of the cameras. Over the last few years, Angela has been part of countless fights and arguments on different 90 Day Fiancé spin-offs. She has also been in numerous scandals off-screen. Angela has become high-tempered and relentless. Some fans have told Angela to calm down, look after her health, and give up on her toxic lifestyle, but she doesn't listen. Instead, the reality star does anything terrible for her well-being. Angela has ruined her social media personality by displaying narcissism, which wasn't present when she first appeared on the show. She has consistently made too many cringe-worthy posts and poked at critics. While Angela should be thinking about living with her husband and building a home, she's more inclined toward visiting her Canadian love interest and partying with Hulk Hogan. Paul Stale Paul Stale appears to be in the biggest midlife crisis. The Louisville native started on a great note with his Brazilian partner, Kareem Martins. The couple tied the knot, settled in the U.S., and welcomed two sons, Ethan and Pierre. Over the years, Paul and Kareem had many public arguments. At one point, Kareem even tried to get Paul arrested with fake allegations. About a year ago, a leaked video showed the 90 Day Fiancé duo having a physical altercation. The video encouraged child protection services to intervene and take custody of their kids. Paul and Kareem were expected to fight for their sons and get them back. However, Paul did the unthinkable by moving to Brazil. Over the months, Paul has shared countless videos and photos of himself dancing with younger females, making TikTok posts, and promoting unrelated content. He has also sparked rumors of his reconciliation with Kareem, which weren't true. Recently, Paul disappeared from his house in Brazil and left a scary message for his mother. Paul had people believing he was dead, he altered his social media profile and made his return, stating it wasn't his fault. 90 Day Fiancé airs Sundays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TLC.